And now that incredible season ends with this big time award. Luca is good enough to join us from our studios in Iowa City. Luca, when during this season did you realize you were in the midst of something special? I think honestly pretty early on. You know, the way we were playing as a team and, and the way, you know, I was starting to play just just because of the way we were moving the ball on offense, I was able to get a lot of touches and a lot of stuff was going through me. And I think kind of early on I knew that you know, I was going to be able to be consistent and be able to do this all year. And you were a perfectly good player last year, but my goodness, the numbers are so much better this year. What is the main reason you were more productive this year? You know, I think there are a lot of things that go into it. You know, I think I, I, I credit you know, this offseason as a big one, you know, just going into it with... Uh, you know, really a determination and a motivation to improve and I, I think I try to do that every single day and just my teammates pushing me and my coaches pushing me and, and, and you know honestly just being here in the summer and working out with the strength coach and everything like that just, just improving in, in, in a ton of ways is kind of what you know, led to this um, you know, drastic improvement. Do you get that you scored 44 points in a game this year? You know, that's, it's, it's honestly crazy, not even in high school. I never did something like that in high school. You know, my career high in high school was like 37 or something like that. So that was, uh, you know, it was, it was definitely kind of crazy. I mean, what was that like? You know, I think we just went into the game and, and, and you know, we saw how they recovered me early. And my, my teammates just did an incredible job of being able to give me a ball. And, and when I was open and in my spots and, you know, that was the, the best. You know, this team has just definitely been the best, like, a, as a whole um, in terms of being able to give me the ball, um, you know, in positions where I can score and, and just the incredible passers we have and the incredible offense we have is, is kind of what kind of led to that. You know, we have your first Big Ten tournament game on our air. You wouldn't mind scoring 44 in that one for us. It'd just be really good for us to promote it that it's going to happen again. <laughs> no, I mean, I attack every game the same way. I play as hard as I can and, you know, honestly, whatever happens, happens. All right, so I'll take that as a guarantee you'll get 44. Very good. Thank you. Luca. Uh, this has been such a great year for you, but, geez, on paper, it shouldn't have been a good year for your team. I mean, your star guard, Jordan Bohannon, doesn't get to play the whole season. Uh, a valuable player in Jack Nungy is done. Your top recruit, Patrick McCaffrey, barely gets to play at all this year. How is it possible you guys were able to have such a good season without those three guys? You know, I think it, ultimately it's because of Coach McCaffrey and his staff and, and, and the group of guys we have. You know, all, all summer you could tell that this team was, was going to be a really good group and, and everyone's just so confident and aggressive. And when you got to have guys like C.J. Frederick and, and Joe Wieskamp who stepped up all year and Connor McCaffrey who's just really turned himself into you know, one of the best players in the, in, in the Big Ten, you know, it's, it's, it, when you have guys like that, it, it makes it easy. And we play, we play really hard and you got to, you know, the emergence of Joe Toussaint as a freshman, you know, stepping up when Jordan went out. You know, we, we had a group of guys that knew when, once those guys went down that, you know, they needed to step up. And, you know, I, I'm just really, really proud of all my guys who, who worked really hard over the summer to be able to put themselves in a position like this. And, you know, with Coach McCaffrey and his staff, just knowing all the adversity we have been through and, and just putting us in a position to win every game with the game plans they have and, and, and just, the, you know, the, the way they attack the game. And it's just... It's just been a, you know, an honor to be a part of this group. You brought up your head coach there, Fran McCaffrey, multiple times. What did you learn about him this year? You know, I learned a lot. I, I, it wasn't really surprising to me, honestly. I, I came to this university to play for Coach McCaffrey, and you know, that was honestly the main reason. And I knew you know, when I came here that me and him you know, could really you know, do something special, and I knew the type of coach he was. And you know he's shown that all year, and he's honestly shown that all three years. You know, bouncing back from our freshman year to put, you know, our group in a position to be able to in the tournament and in an overtime from the Sweet 16. You know, I, I've just known this the whole time. That's you know honestly why I came to the University of Iowa was to play for Coach. Who wins in a hundred yard dash, you or Tucson? <laughs> I don't even think that's an argument at all. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you no, talking about? I, he's I lightning see. fast. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No joke. I, I don't think. I think he could. He could do a 400 before I do a 100. <laughs> well, congratulations, Luca. One incredible year. And as everyone heard, you guaranteed 44 points coming up in the first Big Ten tournament. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you. But no, I didn't. <laughs>